Have you ever felt like something is missing in life? I just finished a big puzzle only to find one piece missing. Every time I looked at it, I felt disappointed because it just wasn't complete. After a few days, my daughter found the one missing piece right under the puzzle mat. It was there the whole time. And as soon as I found it and put it in the puzzle, I felt better. It was complete. I've left the church three times in my life. Most recently, I stopped going to mass when the pandemic hit and churches had to close. Each time I left, I felt like I was doing okay for a while. But each time as more time went by, I felt more anxious and stressed than usual. This time I blamed it on the pandemic. I also knew that I was less patient and edgy with my family. This time I blamed it on being stressed. And this time I struggled to feel motivated and focused at work, but I blamed it on the side effects of the pandemic and being stressed. I tried to do things to de-stress and motivate myself, but it still felt over time like something was just missing. When I started to go back to mass in September, I realized that was what was missing. The scripture readings give me something to think about all week that challenges me to be kinder, more compassionate, and more patient. The Eucharist settles feelings of uncertainty and stress and gives me a peaceful feeling that I really can get through anything in the week ahead. Just like the puzzle piece, God's invitation was right there the whole time. My name is Christina Sensai. I'm a member of St. Martha Parish and a co-chair for the Collaborative Pastoral Council. I invite you and welcome you back to Mass. Why do I go to church? The shorter answer is to be near Jesus and in his true presence in the Holy Eucharist. But that doesn't really say it all. In truth, the, it's the Eucharist that sustains me all through the week. When I'm upset or confused by the craziness of this world, it's the Eucharist that comforts me. And when I'm tired spiritually, it's the Eucharist that refreshes me. If I fail to do what's right, which is often, and I'm down, it's Jesus in the Eucharist that reminds me that there's nothing that I can do that I can't be forgiven for. So yeah, I go to pre I go to church to be in the presence of Jesus, but the truth is, is that his presence stays with me far longer than one hour. And in these days, I really need him. God bless. Up until the pandemic, going to mass was a weekly routine for me. Routine that is, until all of a sudden, church is closed. Masses were no more. Of course, then our priest came to the rescue and we got to see mass live online on our laptops and we got to see familiar faces we saw father joe we saw father lambert maybe occasionally father bernie but it just wasn't the same it wasn't the same at all even saying that spiritual communion something was missing it wasn't until i actually got back to church that i realized exactly what was missing all the people surrounded by people all belting out the same prayers together knowing when to sit and stand together. Even hearing the organist live singing, not just on a video. Everything was live. And the best of all, the highlights, being able to receive the Eucharist myself was huge. I want to share with you from St. Pius X, something he had to say. This is a Pope you might have heard of before on the Eucharist. Holy Communion is the shortest and safest way to heaven. There are others, innocents, but that is for children. Penance, but we are afraid of it. Generous endurance of trials of life, but when they come, we weep and ask to be delivered. The surest, easiest, shortest way is the Eucharist. Now, after hearing that, I'm sure all of you will want to join me in getting back to the Eucharist. And we all will be coming our little halos as we journey up to heaven. When our family stopped going to church, uh, you know, when the pandemic started, it was very noticeable and you felt it right away. But then over time, you became a little bit more desensitized by it. And when we started going back in January, uh, I was really, really anxious about it. Um, but I quickly realized just how much I really missed it. I really missed that time and community and in front of the Eucharist and, uh, you know, in prayer with God. 
Yeah, and we noticed it with our children as well. I feel like they are just like, as soon as we started going back, they were so excited and they wanted to like get dressed up and they were just like so excited to go. And um, we find out that they're more attentive during mass and they're asking more questions and um, lots more questions, <laughs> which is great. And um, it's just been so nice to be back at church. Um, there's just such a sense of peace you feel while you're sitting there during mass and um, receiving the Eucharist and just having the opportunity to listen to the songs again and pray together as a community. Um, it's been great to be back. When I'm at church, I feel joyful and happy because I can thank God for all the things he's done in my life. I love it, going to the Mass because it's an opportunity to be praying with my family. Hi, this is Mike Toomey. I'm a member of the St. Mary's Parish. I've been asked to share with you what I get from going to Mass. This past year has been trying for most of us with the pandemic, economic pressures, the election, and I find going to Mass allows me to center myself each week. It allows me time to think about what I'm doing with my life, what I, blessings I've been given, and what things I should be doing better. I find that going to Mass gives me a great sense of community, that the people around me have the same similar thoughts and, pro and prayers, and that uh, when I leave Mass, I feel rejuvenated, I feel a renewed sense of hope, and that there is great optimism to look forward to. Thank you. We never stop going to church, even during the pandemic, because simply it feels very good to be close to Mary. It is safe and it's well organized. Come back. <laughs>